here good day my good people hmm this uh, osh poppy issue is trending and osh poppy has reportedly uh, fingers token makinwa as his accomplice well osh poppy is currently in police custody facing trial for allegedly defrauding some persons and international companies after he was arrested in dubai and extradited to the u.s has been going on an accomplice naming spree and the deputy commissioner of police abakiari was allegedly complicit in his dealings hmm us for p no you know give account and done the talk done the release you know statements concerning oh boy people where they follow him the job inside the money well in a new development kemi lawyer's report has triggered nigerians to finger to kemi makinwa as a source of income has always been questioned she wrote leaked fbi files not de declassified yet a female radio and tv media personality has been named by hush puppy as laundry millions of dollars for him to hide and move around for business remember hush puppy's plea deal will allow him to get a lesser sentence of under 20 years if he cooperates well in time for his october 2021 sentencing the popular oap should immediately hire a u.s lawyer this money laundry issue is very troubling and worrisome hmm well the rain coming will spare no one involved in this case it is matter of survivor for us puppy and the likes mm, it has been said now that tokema kenwa should you know quickly go and hire lawyer a u.s lawyer at that mm, this is coming from kemi olu lawyer well notwithstanding only lawyer has been reporting said uh, it is not declassified or it has been leaked by fbi files you know the way fbi you know you know do their own dealings is not like uh, the nigerian government or the nigerian efcc because the case of abba kiare you know has been on and abba kiare has been dismissed or and suspended you know to, to go and face the challenge uh, abba kiare, yes uh in the other hand is a full animal but what these people uh, call Fulani people are doing right now is what I would may uh, I don't understand, which is Malami is, you know, because uh, Malami is from the Fulani clan and uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Abba Kiare is from the Fulani clan, rather. So they are trying not to extradite uh, Abba Kiare back to America. That's what Malami and the so called Fulani people are trying to do, but they can kidnap and extradite uh, Nam the Kanu down to Nigeria. So Malami is saying they, uh, they should follow due process. But when they wanted to kidnap Nam the Kanu, there was no due process anywhere, and there was no court order, there was no law, you know, that is uh, guiding a uh, extradition, you know, treaty. But in the case of FBI coming to carry uh, to arrest uh, Abakiyari, so now the law will guide the, you know, uh, Fulani people. So the southern people don't, you know, need the law to guide them. They just, you know, arrest the southern and anyhow they pleases. But now it has been said that the leaked FBI files has not been classified yet. But a female radio and TV media personality has been named by Osh Puppy as laundry millions of dollars for him to hide and move around for business. Remember, Osh Puppy's plea deal will allow him to get a lesser sentence of under 20 years if he cooperates well with the American authorities, which is the FBI. Okay, it has been said that as soon as he starts mentioning names, Osh Puppy mentioned Abakiyari, Osh Puppy is mentioning, uh, what's it called? Dokema Kingwa, Osh Puppy will soon start mentioning so many names. Uh, so that one now will now reduce his 20 year sentence. If found guilty you know october come october and you understand the sentencing will commence well the popular oap should immediately hire a u.s lawyer this money laundry issue is very troubling and worrisome so tokema kingwa should currently or oh, vividly and you know with haste you know quickly hire a lawyer because kemelu lawyers uh, uh, reports triggered nigerians uh, to finger tokema kingwa as a source of income always the question well token marking why is an oap and also she has more money to her bank account but this allegation we don't know if it's true or not but notwithstanding token marking why should be ready to face it because this is an allegation 
you know coming from uh, nigerians well i wouldn't say it's from nigeria really he truly hush puppy you know has named token makinwa as one of his accomplices hmm and uh, that means fbi i know they play but let's see if uh, truly he has named uh, token makinwa let's see how fbi will go about the issue maybe they will extradite uh, token makinwa and in other case the case of or uh, abakiari is still ongoing let's see if the court uh, or Malami or the Nigerian Fulani people release uh, Abaki Yare before Tokema Kiwa. If truly this thing is true or serious, then we will now know if Tokema Kiwa also will stay back in Nigeria and wait uh, for a due process, according to what Malami said concerning uh, Abaki Yare's case. So they need to follow due process because it's the AGF. The Attorney General of the Federation. So when they wanted to extradite Nam the Kanum, there was no law guiding, you know, extradition treaty. But in the case of uh, Abba Kiyari, so they can follow due process. Well, that's what uh, Malami said that they need to look inwardly because this country called Nigeria has been divided a long time, and it is these people called the Fulani. And if uh, Buhari Kabal, they are the ones dividing the country. And they will say nobody should uh, agitate, nobody should success, nobody should pray for division. But they are already dividing the country because of their uh, lopsided and ethnic, ethnic, uh, what is it called? Uh, by, by God tree. That's what I put it. Ethnic by God tree. Because they are just one sided. You know, they believe the Fulani X Men and the Boko Haram and the you know, so-called kidnappers and militias that are disturbing the peace of a country. They are not arrested. But just because of these people that are protesting for good governance, peaceful protesters without arms, they are the ones they are arresting and trying to persecute. It has been read to my notice that even as at last week, Enugu was attacked by these so-called X-Men and nothing is being done to them because if you go against the constitution of a country or against the law you are committing crime and anybody who commits crime is a criminal so esme also is a criminal if truly they have been killing and which is what is truly uh, they have been killing they are criminals and the government is not looking to that way at all is it because they are from the northern part of the country uh, uh, except they want us to believe that they are the ones sponsoring the events they are the ones sponsoring the fulani x men because they have continued in killing for their land grabbing so that is what it is it is called land grabbing because this is their agenda they want to try and fulanize the country to take over nigeria because that's what the uh, narrative that was you know given to them that they own nigeria foreign people will just come around and start killing the indigenous people of the country so that's why we need separation that's what the indigenous people of biafra are saying and the yoruba nation well toke makinwa should quickly and hurriedly look for a lawyer if this accusation is true